one of the things you'll want to do early in the school year is explain your procedures and policies related to class and private comments in Google Classroom. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the different commenting options in Classroom and show you what controls you have and some suggestions for developing rules and policies in your classroom. Now, you're going to need to adapt those policies for the grade level that you teach, how you want to communicate with students and kind of the general culture of your school. But I'll give you some general uh, thoughts and principles uh, to uh, to consider. So right now I'm in Google Classroom. I'm uh, logged in as a teacher and uh, I've created this uh, just simple discussion question for the first day of school. Just share something fun that you did this summer. And my students um, are going to reply. They're going to answer this question first, second day of uh, the school year. Now I'm going to flip over to a student account so that you can see what um, they see because it's interesting um, and can potentially be a little confusing for them. So this is a student account. And there are actually three different places that they can comment. And that can be a little confusing. So let me walk you through uh, the different options. Now, the appropriate place and the right place is right up here in the top right corner. So this is the official box where they need to type their response to the discussion question. By typing in something, uh, maybe say, you know, uh, my brother got married this summer. By uh, typing something in and submitting it, they've answered that question. They will get points for that. It will be marked as done. You will see it, etc. Okay, so that's option one. Now, right below that, there is another option, which says private comment. It is not uncommon for a student to mistakenly type their response to the discussion question in this box. You will receive it, but it will not mark the assignment as complete, and um, their classmates won't be able to see the response either. So it's important, and that's why I do this lesson early in the school year, to explain the difference between a response to a question and a private comment, one, two, and then there's a third option over here. So this is a class comment. This is um, not answering the question. This is more talking about the question. And you can see we've got all kinds of chit chat going on there. And that is very common for this feature. It's a place where students can basically just, you know, type in whatever they want. Um, so three different areas in a question. You've got the, the official comment box on the right. You've got the private comment box. It only goes to you as the teacher below that, and then you have the class comments as well. You need to decide which of these you want to use and explain how to use them to your students. Now let me flip back to my teacher account and we'll take a look at um, a few of the different options. So let's go into this question. So in the center of the screen, this is where we're going to see the official uh, responses to the question. That's what's there. I can click reply. I can grade those. Uh, if the, this is a graded assignment, return them to the students. Okay. So that's there. Now, if the student had um, sent a private comment, when you click on the student's name, you would see their private comment um, come in, you know, down here. Okay, only you, only the teacher will receive those private comments. You can send a private comment back if you want. Google Classroom is a great messaging tool for students. They tend not to check their email. They use the private comments uh, feature instead. I think it's great. Now, the third option, and it's a little funky, it's not my favorite, is um, the class comments. So what I have to do, let me, let me go through it again. Um, I can see right here that there were three class comments left, but I have to actually click to view them. I can look at them there, or if I go to view question and then actually look at the question, I will see uh, those comments here as well. Those are the class comments. Now you have two options, and this is this is the area you're going to need to talk about from a classroom management perspective. You have two options for the class comments. Option one, which is the easy and simple one, is to just eliminate them. So if you are not comfortable with this uh, chit chat going on, if you don't want to monitor that and deal with it, then you can just go in to the settings for your class um, and where it says uh, stream right here, you just uh, set this to uh, only teachers can post and comment. 
and that will eliminate the comment box from Google Classroom, and no one uh, will be able to comment. If if that's an easier solution for you, that's uh, uh, certainly an easy option uh, to uh, to do. Now, the second option is to teach your students how to use this and what the appropriate use is. Now, you have full control over those comments, who is commenting and what they can say. So if I don't like you know, where this comment is headed here, I can actually go in and delete that comment if um, I don't feel it's appropriate. I can also mute that student. So if the comment feature is only being abused by a few students, you don't have to eliminate it for everyone. You can just turn it off for one individual student. And so you can see here what will happen. They can still do their work. They can still answer questions through the question uh, tool in Classroom, but they can't reply. They can't uh, add comments to something that you have posted in the class. So let me go ahead and mute um, her so that you can just see what that looks like. That comment will um, be deleted if I've selected that. And then what you'll see is anywhere in classroom where you see a student's name, if they have that little symbol next to their name, that means that they have been muted and are unable to add uh, comments for the rest of the class to see. You need to begin considering what your class policies are. Um, I think this is a great opportunity to teach some digital citizenship, uh, to explain your expectations and how to be a good community member, good class member by posting encouraging, helpful, useful comments, not just you know off topic uh, things like uh, we see here. It's up to you, you have to decide if you wanna deal with that, um, that issue or not. In the comments to this video, I will post some guidelines that I developed for my own classroom that can help you uh, maybe craft your own policy. I certainly would encourage you to bring your students into that conversation and ask them their thoughts about what uh, your class rules should be regarding the class comments.